Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about the five things that I really like about canister filters. So um, let's go ahead and get right into it. The five things that I like the most about canister filters. By the way, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that, uh, hit that sub button and, uh, and also hit that bell and uh, that way you'll be sure to get notices whenever I post something or I'm about to go live. So, and it tells me that you like the content, you like, to, you like to hear about tips and ideas on how to take care of fish. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do it. I'd appreciate it. Let's get right into the topic. These are the five things that I like the most about canister filters. And uh, if you watched a recent video, I had to do a repair on a Sunsun 704B. I had to replace an O-ring after I, uh, the filter started to get a slow leak. And so you might think, well, how does he still like canisters? But that's just a normal maintenance that you have to do from time to time on anything mechanical. So uh, I haven't uh, really completely written off canister filters. And uh, the number one thing that I like the most about canister filters is that they move a lot of water. And uh, you know, getting a canister filter that moves 300, 400, 500 gallons per hour, uh, these days has become pretty common, pretty easy, and you can get bigger ones than that. So if you want to get your tank in that sweet spot where you're moving uh, between five and 10 times the total volume of the tank turning over per hour. So um, you know, for 10 times, that'll be 100, uh, there's 150, so 1,500 gallons per hour turning over. Uh, you, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get there or get close to that five to 10 sweet spot uh, easier with canisters than you are with, let's say, a hang-on back filter. Some hang-on back filters can move a lot of water, but certainly not like, like the powerful uh, pump that is in some of the larger canister filters. So water movement is one thing that I like a lot about canister filters. Uh, the second item, number two, is uh, they can hold a lot of media. And uh, whether you're doing them with all sponges or whether you're doing, uh, you know, sponges and biomedia, depending how you want to set yours up, uh, chemical filtration, chemipure, purigen, uh, charcoal, uh, floss for polishing the water, however you're, you're going to set up, it holds a lot. So it gives you a lot of choices and a lot of options. Uh, for example, with the Sunsun 704B, you have these large baskets that you can work with. They hold a considerable amount of, of media. Uh, so that would be number two, large, uh, you know, large capacity. Uh, number three, you can go several months between uh, the maintenance of the canister filters. So, um, you know, that's, that's a good thing. You know, you, 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 you let them run and you leave them alone. And, uh, you know, some people go five, six months. Uh, I've heard of people going even longer. It, that gets a little bit uh, too cruddy for me. <laughs> But certainly between three and six months, you can let them run that long. And, and so you're not always having to mess with them. And that's a good thing. And that's number three. Uh, number four, I like how the intakes on a canister filter uh, pull water from low in the tank where there's less oxygen and then pull that water up and out and then reoxygenate the water when, when it dumps it back into the tank. Uh, very often you can have it set up so it it's dumping the water, breaking the surface as the water returns, uh, depending whether you're using spray bars or you have the returns angled up so they break up the water surface. So uh, I like that. I like that you can pull water from a low oxygen level and, and out and return it oxygenated. And so you end up with, with a nice even oxygen distribution throughout the tank and also uh, even temperature distribution because there's, there isn't going to be any hot and cold spots if, if things are moving around like that. So I like that a lot. Uh, also the fact that, that all you have in the tank is the intake and an output that is usually high and out of sight. So uh, you don't have a lot of stuff in the tank like you would let's say with a very large uh, sponge filter. You also uh, can have the tank a lot closer to the wall than you would uh, be able to do if you had, let's say, a large hang-on back filter, which would require you to have the tank pulled away from the wall, uh, you know, depending on the size of the hang-on back filter. Really, all you need in the back of your is enough space to get those hoses up, which are usually about an inch or so, so it's, you don't need much space at all. So um, 
Number five is that they're usually very quiet. If they're set up correctly, and um, if you have them, let's say, sitting on something that isn't going to rattle, if they're level, if the impeller is seated correctly, uh, you know, everything is screwed down right, and uh, there isn't a lot of oxygen getting, you know, a lot of air getting into it because something isn't, isn't really fastened correctly, they are quiet. They're very, very quiet. And um, you just can't hear them. I mean, they're, they're just silent. And uh, one of the things that got me into canisters originally was because I had a 60-gallon uh, tank in, in a TV room and the, and the hang-on-back filters were just splashing, were just a little bit too loud. And uh, I, I, didn't like, I didn't like them in a TV room, so I switched them out for canisters. And uh, I was very happy I did that because it made the tank uh, absolutely silent. So uh, those are the five things that I love about canister filters. And, ne and next week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release, in all fairness, the five things I hate about canister filters. So tune in for that. That'll be next week. I appreciate you tuning in now. Be sure to uh, sub and rate and comment. I do read your comments. Let me know what you think about canister filters, pros and cons. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream at 10 a.m. That's 10 a.m. Pacific time. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.